Welcome problem solving fans to another problem of the day and this one is all about oranges and apples and percentages and fractions. A shopkeeper sells fruit. At the start of the week she has 150 oranges and 220 apples. We might as well write that next to each of the sets of fruit. So if we've got 150 oranges and 220 apples that will help us visualise what's going on. So on Monday, she sells 10% of the oranges. So we need to figure out what 10% of 150 is. Well, 10% of 150, well, to get 10%, 150 is the 100% because that's all of the oranges. And to get from 100% to 10%, you need to divide that by 10 because 100% divided by 10 is 10%. So we need to do the 150 divided by 10 which is going to be 15 oranges. So she is selling 15 oranges. Let's write that there. So 10% of the oranges is 15 oranges. But we need to know how many she's got left because later on in the question it talks about having oranges and apples left. So if she sells 15, then that means we're losing 15 from the 150 that she started with. So 100. 50 take away 15 you can probably do that in your head if you take off the 10 that's 140 and if you take off the extra 5 that's 135 so she's got 135 oranges left now as for the apples she sells a fifth of the apples so we need to figure out what one fifth of 220 is and the way to do this is to share 220 by 5. A fifth of anything means divide it by 5. Well, 5's into 2 won't go because 5's bigger than 2. But you haven't really used that 2 yet because it wouldn't go. So carry the 2. 5's into 22 goes 4 times. 4 5's are 20. So that's 2 left over. And 5's into 20 goes 4 times. So if she's selling a fifth of the apples... That means she's selling 44 apples. So 44 apples sold. But again, we need to figure out how many she's got left. So if she started with 220 and she is selling 44, that means we are subtracting 44 from 220. Well, 0 take away 4 we can't do, so we'd have to borrow from the 2, and the 2 becomes a 1. And the one we've borrowed makes that 0 into 10. 10 take away 4 is 6. 1 take away 4 we can't do, so we'd have to borrow from the 2, which becomes a 1. And the one we've borrowed makes that 1 into 11. 11 take away 4 is 7. And 1 take away this 0, invisible 0 here, 1 take away 0 is 1. So she would basically have 176 apples left. But even that isn't the final answer, because it says how many more apples than oranges are left. Well, we're interested in this answer, which is how many oranges she's got left. So she's got 135 oranges left. And how many apples she's got left is this answer, 176. So she's got 176 apples left. So the question is how many more is 176 apples than 135 oranges. We need to find the difference. And to find the difference between any two numbers, you do a subtract. So the final part of this question is to subtract the 135 from the 176 and see what the difference is between the apples and oranges. Well, 6 take away 5 is 1. 7 take away 3 is 4. And 1 take away 1 is 0. So how many more apples and oranges are now left? The final answer is this 41.